Hello, my name is Michael Harstrick. I'm the Chief Global Development Officer for Garner Products, Inc. Garner Products, Inc. is the largest manufacturer of data elimination equipment in the world. We make destroyers and degaussers, and they are used to eliminate data on end-of-life storage media that is magnetically recorded. So on a hard drive such as this, the data is actually a magnetic field that sits on the surface of the drive. When this device becomes obsolete for whatever reason, the degausser is used to remove any information on the drive before it is disposed of to prevent a data breach. We make uh, a couple of different lines of equipment for this. And our overall philosophy is that our equipment needs to be agile and nimble. We want the equipment to be deployable within a data center cage so that the customer never has data actually leave the confines of the cage and risk a breach. Our lead product there is something called the TS1XT. It is an NSA EPL degausser and provides the highest level of degaussing security that you can obtain today. That product is accompanied with a PD5 destroyer that is also NSA EPL that physically destroys the drive because you cannot see the um, physical consequences of a degauss because you can't see magnetic fields. So we recently had a client who operates large data centers around the world and they had a data center that was in a high-rise building located downtown city center of a modern city. Their internal requirement was, or is, that the data must be destroyed within a certain time of beginning to decommission the data center. The problem was that the normal way they might have done this was with a large shred truck, but the city in um, question did not allow large shred trucks, which are usually diesel powered, within the city confines during um, business hours. So we pointed out that they had the TS1 and the PD5 in their case, they had purchased a package in which they are mounted in a mobile cart that, uh, at a nearby data center. So we suggested they take that combination, roll it into a van, bring it up in the elevator, and decommission the data, the data carriers on site. Uh, they did that. It worked out perfectly. They met their SLA, did not have any issues with uh, the city prohibiting the access uh, for a shred truck. And it worked out well for them, and they have chosen to purchase a couple more units so that they have that contingency reserve in place for the future. Thank you.